Well, first of all, if it's one megabyte, you fit in the TLB with small pages, so it's not a problem. Um, yeah, I know I'm being a little bit flippant here. Um, <laughs> the, uh, it's not, I mean, the, the, the question is, you know, shouldn't I be able to tell the kernel, well, yeah, I'm not quite using all of it. Um, there's a way you can tell the kernel that you're not quite using all of it, and that is to just read the rest of it uh, and uh, then ignore it after that. Um, because in some sense, at least by you know, touching the, reading those pages, uh, you're going to go through the normal fault in behavior and so on, and, and so you're going to do the work that we would otherwise have to do to fill that page out. Um, it, I think more of my answer to that really is we want it to just work behind your back. We don't want application developers to really have to think about it. And to the extent that they do think about it, if you know what the algorithm is, and your application is such that, you know, if you do, we're using just a little bit more, well, then just go ahead and use a little bit more, because then you know that it's going to get promoted. Yeah, well, you know, I just learned about gigabyte super pages like last week when I was down teaching a class for Intel. And, you know, after I picked my jaw up off the floor, I said, that's not for like 32 bit architectures, is it? And they go, no, 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 that's only on the 64 bit architectures. Um, but uh, under our current schema, yes, you would still have to touch all of it. But on the other hand, remember that, you know, you modify one byte somewhere in a gigabyte. We're up, you know, on the hook to break that entire thing out before uh, you know we can free the page. So in the back up there. So you, you, I have two questions. You answered one of them already, which was sort of about, more about the benchmark uh, design. Uh, that is to say, uh, yeah. So Alan says uh, on the AMV it's uh, two megabyte two megabyte pages and one gigabyte pages are the two choices. Uh, we do not currently support the one gigabyte pages yet. Um, but AMV pretty much follows the 386 architecture. A great distance with you know, make sure you don't have your reading glasses set to too high. Okay. Sorry, so like, is there any user like tool that, that we can use to, to see if an application got a uh, assigned? Ah, so the question is, is there any user land tool that lets us lets you find out uh, which of any parts of your address space have been assigned a super page? Really? Okay, so there's a, there's a system called MNCore, which is, uh, tells you, you, you point it and say, is this part of my address space in memory? And apparently there's some auxiliary information that comes back with that that says yes, and it's a super page. Uh, Alan also thinks that there was some changes to proc stat so that you could perhaps get that information, but he says he's not sure if those ever got committed or not. But you know, one could clearly think of a visualization tool. If the information's available, someone can make a little you know, dancing thing that shows your address space with big pages and little pages. <laughs> little music would come out or something. Yeah. So how uh, like uh, allocation happen in the kernel? Let's say I have uh, four megs, should I get a super page inside the kernel? Or how does it happen? Uh, so the question is, when we're allocating stuff on the kernel heap, or someplace in the kernel's address space, uh, how does it work? Uh, it follows exactly the same set of rules that the user land does. So, except that we don't page fault things in the kernel, we you know, wire them down as we do it. So, uh, my guess would be that if you allocated a super page size thing, then you would get a super page. Yeah. Uh, 
That's true. Okay, so the, the answer, Alan says that it's done exactly in the same way that the allocation would happen in user land. So even if you're doing small allocations, if your small allocations eventually end up to the point where you've done all of the pages of a super page, um, it'll be promoted to a super page. If the thing that you initially allocate is the size of a super page, since they're all going to be wired, it's going to more or less immediately give you a super page at that point. Yeah? So platforms So the question is, what's the status of super page allocation in MIPS, ARM, PowerPC? Yeah. Um, <laughs> does it do it at all? Uh, well, the, the super page support is broken down into two parts. There's a, a large part of the human dependent code, and then there are modifications that are required to the machine dependent code, specifically the PMAP, which is the promotion and promotion operations. Uh, only MG64 and I386 have an actual share. In fact, all the architectures are leveraged for machine independent code. What's the ratio? summarize all this discussion for those of you that perhaps didn't hear it all. The question is, uh, what is the support for architectures other than AMD and 386? There, like many other subsystems in the kernel, there is a chunk which is machine independent, and then there's a machine dependent piece that has to be done. The only machine dependent pieces that presently exist in FreeBSD are for 386 and AMD. Uh, then a discussion ensued, uh, and uh, Randall, who's been doing a bunch of work with the MIPS, uh, said he looked at doing the machine dependent part, and it looked like it was at most a few hundred lines of code. However, it must not have been a trivial few hundred lines of code, because otherwise he would have simply done it. <laughs> yeah, I, I did similar investigations years ago with Intel, and they yeah, so, so Warner, uh, had, who's also done a lot of stuff down in the machiney bits, uh, says it looked to him like it would be about a week's worth of work. Three. 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 three, three, three. Multiple weeks. Yeah. Multiple weeks worth of work. Call it a month. Call it a month. It's <laughs> a mythical name. <laughs> okay, some more questions? Yes. Um, so I have a program. The program does. Well, so the question is you have sort of a large, uh, an application with a large memory footprint, uh, very large memory footprint, some of which it writes and some of which it doesn't, or does it write all of it? It's touching pages within some of Touching some of the pages within it. say touch, does it read or does it write? Okay. All right. The answer is that uh, it will clearly qualify for a super page reservation. When you do those little touches, uh, if you're only touching, like, out, if out of every, let's say, megabyte, you're only touching one place in that megabyte, then that one page that you touch will get, it, it will get a, a single page, regular 4K page, um, the rest of it, if, assuming that you, you know, read it in or whatever, um, you know, fault it in 
whatever it is that you're doing, uh, then only, it'll promote to a super page, but it'll promote to a read-only super page at that point. Uh, if you then modify it while it's a super page, we'll put it back to being individual pages until you show that you have, that you're really modifying sort of every page within that. So the answer is, the only time we're going to be having to write a super page size thing is if you've already shown that you've touched every page within it anyway, and so we're, we're not going to be doing expert writing work. So if you were to, ma you're talking about mapping that thing in now? No, I'm talking about getting it out of memory into the one that fits in the stuff at all. And you want it to have holes in it? Yes. Okay. Um, Which, if it sounds like you've got it right, you can get to it. I believe what you want to have happen will happen. <laughs> all right. Any more questions? Yes. Two questions. One is this Okay, so there were two questions. Uh, one was, have we run any more benchmarks since 2002? Because he seems to feel that perhaps program applications have changed in the last 10 years. Um, the answer is that I have not. Have you run any? So Alan says, yes, in fact, he has run more benchmarks in recent times. He's also run a bunch on the MD64 to see you know, whether or not there's variance. Because it's amazing how like hardware that you know specs the same in terms of the way it operates actually under the covers works sometimes surprisingly dramatically differently. So um, what were the results of the model? Did it the same? Basically, not quite as large. I mean, the, the machines that did benchmark numbers were shown from secondary benefit on AMD 64 that's quite substantial that using large pages reduces the size of your page table. So page table entries can reside in the LC cache. That's one of the tricks in the architecture. You know, the LC cache is almost like a tertiary CLD. And by using large pages, you make it possible for the page table, the entire page table of a large application to actually sit in the LC along the data. And so consequently, even if you take a CLD mess, you're not having to go out to RAM. Right? You're able to serve the CLD mess out of the cache. And so that gives you some benefit that maybe Alpha didn't have. So particularly applications that are accessing, say, large hash tables, like say a database hash join operation that has fairly random memory access pattern, sees huge benefit. Okay, 
Cool. That was, I think everyone heard that, but just to give you the summary, uh, more modern tests have been run. Uh, the original uh, tests were done on alpha, where TLB misses were uh, essentially not entirely hardware, uh, sort of microcode level stuff, uh, so slower. Uh, but the, the, in the more modern systems, uh, it really helps if your your page tables are small enough that they fit in the L2 cache because then you don't have to go all the way out to memory in order to get the, the answer. Uh, and so uh, that's that's more of a win. When you have super pages, you obviously have smaller page tables. So uh, that was the answer to your first question. The second question was uh, essentially trying to avoid fragmentation. Um, the, the buddy lists, we keep track of all the different sort of how far along we've progressed at reconstructing a super page. And the ones that are further along, uh, we avoid taking pages from them uh, in preference for the ones that are still you know, just a, a mishmash of small blocks. So if you need the small bit, we take it out of one of those smaller allocations uh, in the hopes that these others will continue to accrete pages and eventually go back to being super pages again. There's also been reports of people running large matrix operations Right, so, so the comment was that uh, people running uh, some big matrix calculations find that they run three to four times faster. That's essentially what this is showing right here, uh, where you get this, this huge improvement because you go from missing the TLB on pretty much every memory reference to uh, hitting it. And so that's why that comes about. All right, well, we made it to 2.30. You all deserve a break. Thanks for coming, and enjoy the rest of the conference.